Hello, ma'am. Good day. Ako dey si Adrian Saldivilla, and I'm gonna be presenting to you my proposed seafood restaurant. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. The restaurant is located in a corner lot along Regatta Boulevard. I chose this site because of the following reasons. First, it can cater to the surrounding residential clientele here. Next, it is located near a community church that would attract churchgoers on Sundays. In addition, it can compete with other commercial establishments such as SM and these neighboring restaurants and suites. Finally, the site is very accessible given its corner location and existing sidewalks and parking spaces. I took inspiration from a jellyfish and so the concept was assimilating biomimicry through fluidity and bent shapes. My philosophy is making nature's beauty habitable. My objective for the site is to take advantage of its accessibility and keep it simple as to bring focus onto the structure. So if you take a look at my site plan here, I took advantage of the existing parking spaces and kept the landscape to a minimal to unobstruct the structure. My goal for the plan is to keep it open to provide comfort, safe, and ease by providing well-zoned and free-flowing spaces. So if you take a look at the plan, we can see here massive columns that surround the building. This is to ensure a columnless and open interior space. The plan is split between two zones, the customer zone and the employee zone. The customer zone is positioned along the corner of the streets. If you want to take out food to bring home to prepare, you can get them in the retail stall and pay for them inside. You come inside to this pivoting circular door, where you will be greeted by this service here. While waiting for a seat, you can sit here in the lounge. The toilets and washing areas are zoned at the back and kept hidden indirectly from the dining spaces. If you work here as an employee, you enter through this service alley that I have provided, which also serves as an area to house all the service equipments. Here is a port for delivery vehicles adjacent to the storage facilities for ease of receiving goods. The retail is also connected to the kitchen and storages for ease of restocking and setting up. The office is centralized here as to supervise the employee zone. Here is a break room because I believe hardworking chefs need a nice space to take a breather. The employee toilet here is connected with the customer's toilets for ease of plumbing. For the kitchen layout, this is the flow. The first step to cooking is grabbing stuff from the storage which shall be passed onto the prep line to be prepared. Next, it will be passed down to the cook line to be cooked. By the way, I wanted those in the prep line and the cook line to be facing each other as to encourage collaboration. I also wanted the cook line along with its vents to be centralized so that I can clear this wall to permit windows for natural lighting. Once the food is cooked in the cook line, it shall be passed back to the prep line for garnishing and plating. Finally, cooked food is placed in the service counter for waiters in the waiting aisle to grab and serve. Moving on to the aesthetics, my goal is to make a cute and playful structure that incorporates fluidity and bending shapes to entice the return of patrons. If you take a look at the elevations, the roof is inspired from the head of the jellyfish which I bent and deformed to make it more playful. The massive columns of the buildings were inspired from the tentacles of the jellyfish which expresses like this going up na kind of branching the movement with tao, so yeah. If you're wondering why I use ordinary openings in the rear and right side of the elevations, this is because the spaces are going to be hidden anyways, so there is no point to devoting a lot of resources to make them pretty. Taking a look at a section, the floor is elevated high enough to prevent flooding, and the roof is like this lofty space that serves as a buffer that prevents heat from radiating inside. All this put together, here is the design. Here is an exterior perspective looking at it from the corner. Here is the interior perspective which I gave a trendy industrial look to it. I also added some red accents because red has a psychological effect that makes people feel more hungry. So yeah, strategic notion. Anyways, that has been my design. Thank you so much for watching, mom, and goodbye. Thank you.